Jimmy, if you're watching, your chair's ready for you. my fisher finding fish welcome to cuba welcome to keo coco and welcome to the memories flamenco um, i arrived late last night into uh, keo coco now because we're traveling down here during the hurricane season there was a storm right over the airport so the plane we circled for an hour and we finally got here safe and sound Customs was crazy because uh, two planes arrived at the same time, but you know what? We were through customs in about half an hour. On the bus at 10, it exactly 20 minutes to get here to the Flamenco. Anyway, grabbed a beer last night and uh, went to bed. Now I'm set to go grab a coffee. Now, if you've been here before, you probably have your favorite place. And if you do, put it in the comments below. But if you haven't been here before, if you're Diamond Club, you can go to the Diamond Club restaurant. It opens at 7.30. You can go to the 24 hours. You can go to uh, Bellini's. I believe it opens at 7. And, or you can go to Selections and uh, go get breakfast and they'll make you coffee there as well. I'm dying for a coffee and I'll probably get a Spanish coffee. So let's get going. Okay, first test, first taste. Mm, amazing. So, like I said, I'm down here at Bellini's, and Bellini's is actually 24 hours. I don't know what I was thinking. They just made me up an amazing cappuccino, and I'm ready to start my day. Now, the reason I came down here, A, because it was so cheap, I was actually going to go to Veradero, but then I looked at this, and it was dirt cheap, so I came. I'm here to do an update video about the resort. Let's go check out the food. I'll show you Diamond Club, because a lot of people ask me, is it really worth it? For this trip, Diamond Club was the exact same price as regular club, so let's check that out. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up my cappuccino here. I'm probably gonna get a Spanish coffee, and then let's start going through the resort. Now this is the main lobby. This is where you're gonna get your check-in and your check-out and you're gonna get your Wi-Fi key. Now check-in is at uh, four o'clock. So if you're taking a 6 a.m. flight, at uh, still four o'clock. When you check out, it's at noon. But if you're Diamond Club, it's at two o'clock. And if you're a returning guest, they give you an extra hour. But you still have to go down and ask uh, probably to get your, your key changed to that specific time. Always double check. The main lobby here, this is where you're also gonna find your reps to uh, book excursions, do your dinners, talk to your concierge, see what's available for dinners. I'm here in low season, so I don't know what's open for restaurants, but I'm gonna check out. Anyway, let's go to selections and see what they have for food. Now, as you walk down these little stairs and walking to selections, you're gonna know Diamond Club check-in, check-out. Now, last night we got here so late, uh, it was closed, but I believe it opens at seven uh, till four if you're checking in, checking out. It does stay open till 11, but not for check-in and check-out. And I was just talking to Michael in there, and he says for Diamond Club, I'm allowed to book as many restaurants as I want for the week. For regular folks, you get three choices. So there you go. I believe right now there's a Cuban, Asian, international, and the Italians open right now. And of course we have the Diamond Club restaurant and we have selections. Let's go. Amigo, how are you? Everything okay? Oh yeah, everything's great, Amigo. Good?
Okay, that's selections. And as you can see, at selections, it opens at 7 till 10.30 for breakfast, uh, lunch down at selections at 1, and dinner down there is at 6. Anyway, they had a lot, a lot of variety of foods. They had bread, butter, all the basics you need, bacon, eggs. They did have some sort of a mixture of the egg concoction. Um, typically, they do crack my eggs for omelets and put them, but today it was kind of an interesting concoction. Leave a comment if you know what it is, but anyway, let's continue. So straight from Selections is the main pool area, and it's about 8.30 in the morning, and let's go check that out. Anyway, up this little set of stairs, you're gonna have the main pool. Now, there's about 650 guests here, I believe, right now. There's lots of loungers out here, and there's lots of wooden palapas now that they're putting up in sun structures, which is nice. And the palm trees are starting to grow in, which is absolutely incredible. But for eight o'clock in the morning, in low season, this place is very quiet. If this is high season, this pool is gonna be very busy. But I'm gonna come back later on today and show you how busy it is. Anyway. It's looking stunning here. The palm trees, I haven't been here in a while and the palm trees are starting to pop up and things are looking pretty good here. And directly across from the main pool, that's where you're gonna find bites. We came in here last night, grabbed a couple of sandwiches and some couple of cervezas. Now it's 24 hours and I believe on the menu last night they had hot dogs, french fries, ham and cheese, and pork on a bun. And uh, yeah, you know, for your midnight snack, it's, it's a place that you're gonna come and you're gonna hang out when everything closes down, when the theater closes down, people kinda come up this way. Anyway, I'm, let's go to Diamond Club and check it out. So a short little walk from Bites, you turn to the right, and that's gonna be the Diamond Club restaurant. It opens at 7.30 in the morning for breakfast. Um, it's a buffet and they do have a small a la carte, but uh, I'm gonna go grab a cappuccino and uh, continue on with my day. Okay, eggs over easy and cappuccinos are done. Now, as you can notice with Diamond Club, it's changed here since the last time I was here. Uh, no longer can I get my eggs Benedict because it's now changed to more of a buffet style at Diamond Club. But what they do do is they offer you omelets and eggs over. They do have bacon and everything else, but it's buffet. So you want toast, they'll get you toast. An omelet with cheese in it, they'll get that for you. Obviously, they're gonna get your cappuccinos and everything else, but as I noticed, this resort's starting to go to more buffet. Just so you know that. Anyway, I just wanna say, well, I've met a lot of subscribers. I haven't even been here like 24 hours, and I probably met, uh, you know, 10 subscribers or more. Anyway, I just wanna say thank you to all the subscribers, everyone that uh, subscribes to my channel, watches, comes up to me and says hello. It means a lot to us, me and Jenny, and I, I just wanna say thanks. One of the reasons I did come down here is sometimes you read a lot of negative reviews. Now, when I asked my subscribers last night, I said, what do you think to the resort? And they said, for what they paid, they see value for money. So for people that are coming here and you're not kind of paying attention and you're not watching videos and you're not kind of getting into some research to what you might expect, you gotta do your homework when you come to Cuba because sometimes it's your first time to Cuba, you know, for the first time, big impressions, right? So for me, I pay in 700 bucks and I know what I'm getting into and I don't even know how they make money at $700. But anyway, let's keep going. So right across from the snack bar, Bites, and the Diamond Club restaurant, you're gonna notice the lower pool. Now, the lower pool also has a bar, kind of in a waterfall effect, and lots of loungers. Not as many loungers as the main pool, but it's still got lots of loungers and it's still got some palapas. 
The water here looks amazing today in the pool. If you're a pool person, it looks great. Now, it looks like building number five is totally closed down right now, and hopefully they're using this time to renovate it. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion what I think about the resort and that the stage, like I was here, like this is my 10th visit, so uh, I'll give you my uh, honest opinion. Anyway, it looks like at the end of number five, they built a new boardwalk. That's nice. Oh, it's so quiet here. Okay, lunch is done, hot dog is done, french fries is done, pork sandwich with mustard is done. Ah, let's go check out my room. Now, I don't have an ocean view, I have a garden view, but let's go check it out. Okay, here's my room. You walk in, got a safe. It works. My extra blankets. Do I have hot water? Yeah, it might take a few minutes. I have a couple of glasses, blow dryer, some toiletries, still waiting on the hot water, toilet, shower, but I got my phone. Still waiting, place for my luggage, coffee maker, bottle of water, cat food, TV, mini fridge, Cerveza, orange pop, sitting area, and I got my twin beds. I call them the twinsies. They're, they're actually both comfortable. Uh, they're semi-firm. If you're coming to Cuba, they're always going to be semi-firm, firm, but mine was actually comfortable, so. I do finally have hot water coming, okay? That's my room. Pretty basic. For Cuba, Cuba standards, it's right right in there for what I paid. A little dated, it needs, it needs a little bit of a touch up and paint here and a few things, but uh, for what I paid, I'm totally happy, totally satisfied with it. Anyway, that's my room. Okay, so here I am, I'm at the back of the resort. Now to get to the back of the resort, you have to take this little path. But this little path is gonna take you to the tennis court. And right beside the tennis court is gonna be the soccer court. But then you follow the path and then you're gonna come here to the spa. And then right beside the spa is gonna be the gym. Now the gym's air conditioned. It's actually really well stocked. And then right across from the gym, it's gonna be the doctor's office. Now, the doctor's office, if you're coming here, I'd probably wanna call reception to make sure that the doctor's here. Also, I'm gonna show you the beach. So I was just down at Diamond Club Beach and there's a bit of erosion from that storm that they had about a couple of months ago. A couple of updates because it is low season. The Diamond Club barbecue, it's not open every day, but I do see charcoal going on there today. But the pool barbecue isn't open and it hasn't been open since I've been here. Okay, so let's just recap in my final thoughts here. So from the time I started this video to now, the resort totally lost water one day. Um, there was a lot of guests that were unhappy. Some of them left. I was told it was an island problem. Anyway, the resort did lose water. We had no ice. Even I think they ran out of bottled water up at the top of the lobby bar there. But today, as I'm showing you right now, I'm putting that clip in, I do have water today. When you come to Cuba, things change. Last time I was here, they didn't have uh, cups. Uh, the time before, it was a wheat shortage. And that time as well that they didn't have uh, soda pops. 
things just go up and down the ebbs and flows of Cuba and if you're coming here that's one thing you need to consider there's no consistency here and you have to get ready for that did it ruin my trip that I had no water not at all it didn't bother me at all you know I have a shower in the morning anyway and I didn't have a shower that night but later on there was water over by the pool so I just hopped in that shower it doesn't phase me at all but then I know what I'm getting into when I'm coming here and I'm only paying $700 other people got upset and left. So I asked a few subscribers what they thought of that. Some of them it didn't even phase them, to be honest with you. And then some of them it bothered. And I get it. If you're going on a holiday, yeah, you want water. Who doesn't? Besides that, my son did get sick. Maybe a little bit too alcohol, too much sun. You know how that goes when you're 18. I have, had to have the nurse come up. That's 50 US just for uh, a consultation. She came up. Folks, if you're coming here, bring gravel bring electrolyte packages we bring those but i forgot this time i'm kicking myself in the butt now anyway so i don't know what the bill is going to cost to have my young guy uh, be okay but whatever it's going to be what it's going to be they take your passport number and you're not leaving till you pay the bill so anyway do i find value coming here for 700 bucks i do was diamond club worth it only diamond club was worth it to me because it was the same price would I pay $200 more? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay it. Um, unless you knew exactly what they were offering and everything was opened, I'd consider it. But you know, I've come here before without Diamond Club and I had a great time too. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, one of the best assets here is the beach and the pool looked amazing all week. And the kids pool is all totally redone and it, it looks good too. So there, there's a reason why this hotel is packed in September because it's cheap and cheerful. Do they have issues? Yes. The buildings need a paint job. The hallways need to be cleaned up. That's just what they need to do. They need to do it, but I'm looking at building number 10 back here. And it looks like it's been painted on the outside. They need to keep that going. They need to start bringing things up. But then again, that's why I paid what I paid. And I, I come down here for a few things. That beach, a good cappuccino in the morning, and some hard boiled eggs, and I'm happy. But that's me. For people that are coming here and they're thinking it's Mexico in Dominican, it isn't. It isn't. Anyway, heading down the beach. See you there. Hey, we in? Yeah, baby.